In this video, we are going to be counting down the 21 hottest French actresses of all time. Number 21. Catherine Deneuve Deneuve is easily recognized as one of the greatest European actresses of film for obvious reasons. The French actress had her screen debut when she was 12 and came into the limelight with her collaborations with Jacques Demy, starring in The Umbrella of Cherbourg, The Young Girls of Rochefort, and Donkey Skin. After this, Catherine went on to feature in over 58 movies, and surprisingly, at age 80, the actress has not announced her retirement yet. Maybe the most interesting thing about 80-year-old Catherine is that she could be anything but a regular actress. Many consider her an epitome of French elegance and cinematic charm, while others see her as a confused bisexual. Deneuve has been romantically connected with a few prominent men in the industry, such as Sammy Frey, Clint Eastwood, Burt Reynolds, and John Travolta. She has tied the knot just once, and this was in 1965 to photographer David Bailey. Unfortunately, this did not last, and they separated after seven years. The French actress has two children, actor Christian Vadim from her relationship with Roger Vadim, and actress Chiara Mastriani from Marcello Mastriani. In recent years, she was accused of secret sexual relations with women, but she publicly defended herself against it, claiming that it was all an attempt to soil her name. Catherine has a lot of impressive awards to show that she is more than just a pretty face. She has won two Caesar Awards and has received nominations for an Academy Award and BAFTA Awards. The actress has been very quiet in recent years and this has got a lot of people wondering what she's been up to. Well, she suffered a stroke in 2019, but according to Gala, she's recovering well. All thanks to her ex-lover, French journalist Pierre Lesueur. In 1985, Catherine Deneuve succeeded Muriel Mathieu as the official face of Marianne, France's national symbol of liberty. Number 20. Isabella Huppert One of the very best to ever do it, Huppert was recently ranked second on the list of the greatest actors in the 21st century by the New York Times. But the story was not always this pleasant. Isabella was forced into the acting industry by her mother when she was very young, and after a few years, she was recognized as a teenage star in Paris. She would transform to become a classic example of when talent meets beauty, as her ever-alluring magnificence easily complements her profound works on the French screens. Isabella had her feature film debut in the 1972 romantic comedy Faustine et la Belle Ete. Then the actress would battle obscurity until her breakthrough in the controversial 1974 sex comedy Les Valseuses. Huppert was catapulted into international stardom with her role in Claude Goretta's La Dentelaire, for which she won a BAFTA award for the most promising newcomer. On the English screens, Isabella is popular for her roles in films like Heaven's Gates, The Bedroom Window, Louder the Bombs, Greta, and 2022's Ms. Harriet Goes to Paris. The actress has never been married, but she shares an intimate connection with director Ronald Chema. The couple shares three children. Angelo, Lorenzo, and the popular actress Lolita Chema. Isabella is remembered today for her audacious and daring performances, where she enjoys mysterious characters. She catapulted our hearts with her portrayals of the darkest parts of the human psyche, and it's nobody's wonder why she's on our list today. Number 19. Sophia Marceau A fine blend of natural beauty and raw talent, Sophia Marceau has continued to make the top cinema favorites for decades. She is well known for her Caesar award-winning performance in the French comedies La Bombe 1 and La Bombe 2. Sophia broke into the industry by working in a modeling agency for teenagers, and it was there that she got the recommendations to feature in the show that would change her life forever. Director Alain Poiret signed a long-term contract with Marceau, and the first thing to come out of this partnership was the French comedy La Bombe. It sold over 4 million tickets across France, establishing Sophia as one of the leading talents in the industry. She further cemented her status as a European film star after her features in a string of successful films, including L'Etudiante, Pacific Palisades, Fan Fan, and Revenge of the Musketeers. She dominated the global stages with performances in movies like Braveheart, Firelight, and the 19th James Bond film The World Is Not Enough. Marceau was romantically involved with Polish filmmaker Andrzej Zulowski from 1985 until 2001, and they share a son, Vincent, who was born in 1995. Sophia also has a daughter, Juliet, from her six-year romance with American producer Jim Lemley. 
The actress has appeared on over 300 magazine covers worldwide, and she has also been on the face of numerous luxury brands. With a career spanning over four decades, Sophia has established herself as an icon of French cinema, and her contributions to the film industry will forever inspire and influence generations of actors. Number 18. Emmanuel Riva Emmanuel Riva might not have been so lucky to star in many successful movies, but somehow she was able to embody such natural charisma and mysterious aura, which she used to seduce directors to cast her in just the movies that mattered the most. That is exactly why she is on our list today. Riva spent half of her teenage years working as a seamstress. Only when she turned into a rebel was she allowed to pursue her dreams of becoming an industry actress. Not sure if her parents ever forgave her, but Riva would prove that she had just what it takes to become a celebrity actress. She hit international stardom with her very first film role in the 1958 romantic drama film Hiroshima Mon Amour. For her performance in the film, Riva was nominated for a BAFTA Award for Best Foreign Actress. Emmanuel defied the odds again in 2012 with a record-breaking performance in Amour. She earned a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress, making her the oldest actress ever nominated in that category. Outside the stage and screens, Riva was recognized as a passionate painter and poet. Her parents' fears became a frightening reality in the later years of her career, as she struggled to find lasting happiness even until her deathbed. She died of cancer on the 27th of January 2017, four weeks before her 90th birthday. Riva was never married and she didn't have any children either. There were rumors of a partner, but it was said that he died in 1999. Emmanuel left an enduring legacy in the French film industry, and after decades of active contributions in the cinema, she is recognized as one of the greatest French actresses of all time. Number 17. Audrey Tattoo Unlike many other actresses who stumbled into the industry, Audrey Tattoo knew exactly who she wanted to be and how she would get there at a very young age in life. Tattoo started attending acting classes at the Cours Florent as a teenager, and that was where she learned how to speak fluent English and Italian. She had her television debut at the age of 18, and her feature film debut was going to be her breakthrough performance. The 1999 French romantic comedy Venus Beauty Institute was a box office hit, and it brought Audrey the Caesar Award for the most promising actress. She achieved international stardom with her lead role in the 2001 film Amélie. Tattoo is also well known and celebrated for her performances in films like Dirty Pretty Things, The Da Vinci Code, and A Very Long Engagement. Tattoo's distinct beauty and striking features have brought modeling contracts from some of the world's leading fashion companies, including Chanel, Mont Blanc, and L'Oreal. For reasons we are very familiar with, Tattoo has kept her relationships away from the eyes of the public but she has been rumored to be involved in several high-profile romances with a few men in the industry, including Matthew Shadid, Lance Masmanian, and actor Benoit Poulverde, with whom she shared the screen in the 2009 drama film Coco Before Chanel. 47-year-old Audrey Tattoo has never been married, but that doesn't in any way stop the actress from living her best life. She is celebrated today for her charm and versatility on the screen. Number 16. Marion Cotillard Marion was born into a family of entertainment giants. Her father, Jean-Claude Courtillard, is an established actor and theater director, and her mother, Nassima Theode, is a drama teacher. So it was no surprise that Marion picked an interest in acting at a very early age in life. At the age of three, she had already appeared on stage alongside her mother. Fifteen years later, she was going to have her first English-speaking feature in a minor role in the 1993 Highlander but her feature film debut was going to come the following year in the French romantic drama film The Story of a Boy Who Wanted to Be Kissed. She had her breakthrough in the 1998 action comedy Taxi, which sold over 6 million tickets across France. For her performance in the role, Cotillard was nominated for a Caesar Award for the Most Promising Actress. With a face like that, Marion could easily steal deals from top fashion brands. She was the face of the Lady Dior handbag for nine years, and since 2020, she has been the face of the fragrance Chanel No. 5. Cotillard still has not found the right person to walk down the aisle with. However, she is romantically connected with the French actor and director Guillaume Canet. 
The two lovebirds welcomed their first son Marcel in 2011 and their last child, a daughter Louise in 2017. Everyone has still not gotten the real reason for Marion's abrupt departure from the industry. Well, the actress, in an interview, confessed that she is slowing down because she wants to focus on raising her children. Today, there are two kinds of actresses, those who burn themselves out and those who manage to put the character aside and come home in the evening, Marion shared. Today, I'm halfway there. Since becoming a mother, I have put boundaries to protect my children. Number 15. Emmanuel Bert. It might be a little controversial and unfair to have Emmanuelle on this list as she publicly admitted to cosmetic surgery in 2012. However, she confessed that she regrets it and has promised to never attempt such ever again. Bert in 1990 went in for a full lip surgery, but that didn't go as planned. According to her, she has always been insecure about her lips and that was what motivated her to go through the process. She made the public confession to warn others about the consequences of such an irreversible decision. Emmanuelle rose to fame with her feature in the 1986 French hit film Menon de Source. For her performance, Baird won the 1987 Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress. She has also been nominated for seven more Caesar Awards for Most Promising Actress and Best Actress. A symbol of French classiness and grace, Baird was featured in the 2003 issue of the French magazine Elle and it sold over 550,000 copies in just three days, making it the biggest selling issue in the fashion glossy's long history. Emmanuel Baird has been married twice and they both ended with heart-shattering divorces. She has three children from her past relationship and these days she is making them her priority. Baird is renowned for her beauty and acting prowess and has through them left such an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. Number 14. Melanie Laurent Laurent might be the youngest actress on our list today, but at such a young age, she has achieved so much in the local and international film industry. Gifted with an alluring personality and natural charms, Melanie found it really easy to transition into the acting industry. She recalled that she would get her first film role even without a proper audition. Her father was a voiceover actor, and that should have been the closest Laurent was to the entertainment industry. However, her acting journey began after she visited the set of Asterix and Obelix, and there she got a formal invitation from actor Gérard Depardieu to feature in his drama film. She agreed and the director would set her up for success. Laurent continued with minor roles until her breakthrough in early 2006, when she was featured in Philippe Liart's Don't Worry I'm Fine. For her performance in the film, she won a Caesar Award for Most Promising Actress. Melanie, Le Melanie Laurent is also remembered fondly for her roles in films like La Chambre de Morts, Inglorious Bastards, Now You See Me, and Operation Finale. She also had directing credits in films like Des Moines et Moines, The Adopted, and the 2023 Netflix film The Wing Women. For reasons best known to her, Melanie has continued to conceal the identity of her spouse, but she did reveal that he was a crew member in a movie she was featured in. The couple share two children and they all live in their home in Los Angeles. Number 13. Lea Sedu. Born into a very influential family, but Sedu continues to fight the rumors that suggest that her family connections helped her in the success of her career both as a film star and a model. She revealed that her parents didn't want her in the entertainment industry, and they would resist her even more when she expressed interest in acting. But things turned out just fine for young Sedu who ventured into the big world of acting all by herself. Though she pushed everyone away because of it, Sedu has admitted that as a child, she didn't want to become an actress or a model. She only wanted to sing in the opera. But after her 18th birthday, she decided that she would become an actress instead. Lea had her film debut in the Franco-Belgian film Girlfriends. A more notable performance was in the 2008's The Beautiful Person a role that earned her the Chopin Award for the Best Upcoming Actress. She starred alongside stars Tom Cruise and Jeremy Renner in the Hollywood production Mission Impossible in 2011. Sedu hit international stardom with the highly controversial film Blue is the Warmest Color. The 38-year-old actress is still in search of the right partner to start a family with, but she is mother to a boy whom she had with her ex-lover Andre Meyer. Sedu has been showcased in magazines like Vogue Paris, L'Officiel, another magazine, and so many others. She has been the brand ambassador for Louis Vuitton since 2016. Lea Sedu has solidified her role as an industry icon with her performance in the films she was featured in. 
fans and lovers always look forward to her time on the screens. Number 12. Isabel Adjani Isabel remains the only performer to win five Caesar Awards for acting, all in the Best Actress position, and she owes it all to her upbringing. Her parents gave her all the support she needed at a very early age. By age 12, she had already had her theater debut, and four years later, she was already attracting a lot of attention with her acting prowess and beauty. The actress found major success in the 1975 The Story of Adele H., for which she was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress, the youngest to ever attain such fame, and Isabel was going to hold this record for over 30 years. Her notable film roles include One Deadly Summer, Camille Claudel, Bon Voyage, and The World is Yours, among others. The actress has never been married, but she has a son from her relationship with Daniel Day-Lewis. Adjani recently celebrated her 68th birthday, and she has an estimated net worth of $40 million. Number 11. Sandrine Bonaire From the little town of Ganault, Allier, Sandrine was going to fight her way into the industry's A-list. Born into a family of moderate means, Sandrine was the seventh of her parents' 11 children. The conditions of her background forced her into early adulthood, and Bonaire had to smuggle herself into the acting industry. She had her film debut in the Maurice Pilliat film, A Nos Amour. She was 16, and this would win her the Caesar Award for the Most Promising Actress. Sandrine opened international doors with her performance in the 1985 French drama film Vagabond. Other notable features from the actress include Under the Sun of Satan, La Ceremonie, Intimate Strangers, and Prendre le Large. Sandrine had only tied the knot once in her life, and this was with actor and screenwriter Guillaume Laurent, but they divorced in 2015. Bonaire's ability to portray complex characters with depth has left an enduring impact on French and global cinema. Number 10. Fanny Ardent Fanny conquered the industry by first seducing her viewers with her youthful beauty and acting skills, but slowly she was transformed into one of France's most admirable actresses. Ardent was the youngest of five children born to a military officer and his wife. She was educated in a convent. At an early age, Fanny picked up an interest in acting, but her father kicked against it. He only agreed after much hesitation, but secretly he had other plans. On his deathbed, he made her promise that she would go to school for a political science degree, and she agreed. Ardent got into school and after her graduation, she started working in the French Embassy in London. She was soon laid off due to poor time management, and this was a good thing. It drew Fanny back to her first love. After trying different odd jobs in London, Ardent decided that it was time to resume drama school. In 1974, at age 24, Fanny Ardent made her first appearance on stage. She also did a few minor roles here and there, but 1981 was going to be the defining year for her. She was cast in the French romantic drama film The Woman Next Door. The film brought Ardent her first Caesar Award nomination for Best Actress, and by 1984, she was nominated again for Vivement Dimanche. In 1997, Ardent took on a comedic role in Pedal Once and this won her the Caesar Award for Best Actress. Fanny fell in love with her director, Francois Truffaut, and in 1983, she welcomed her first daughter, Josephine. They were together until he died in 1984. Fanny has always been vocal about her opinions on marriage. She just doesn't believe it. According to her, her parents lived together, but they never really did love each other. So, while she might keep sexual partners, walking down the aisle continues to be a no-no for the actress. Ardent has left a lasting legacy in French cinema through her numerous contributions to film and television. She has not announced her retirement yet, so fans and lovers anticipate her comeback to the screens. Number 9. Ludovine Seigneur Ludovine was loved and adored by the public because of her intelligent choice of roles, her acting skills and, of course, her enticing aura. According to the actress, she considers Isabelle Huppert as her role model, and at the end of her career, she hopes to be ranked among some of France's entertainment giants like Catherine Deneuve and Jean Moreau. Ludovine came from a very simple background. Her mom was a retired secretary, while her father was an English professor at Paris University. Seigne made her film debut at the age of nine in Les Maris, Les Femmes, Les Amants in 1989. However, she found major success under director Francois Ozorn, who featured her in his musical comedy Eight Women. Ludovine was decorated with numerous acting prizes for this. 
but she found even greater success with Ozorn's psychological thriller Swimming Pool. Other notable appearances include Tinkerbell in Peter Pan, Mezzarine Public Enemy No. 1, and The Young Pope. Ludovine had her first daughter from her relationship with her then-boyfriend actor Nicholas de Vachel. She is currently in a relationship with director Kim Champiron, with whom she has two daughters. Number 8. Anouk Ami All through her career, Ami has continued to receive praise for her beauty and striking features. She was considered one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history by a 1995 poll conducted by Empire Magazine and she was often portrayed as a femme fatale with a melancholy aura. As a child, Anouk was always fascinated with the world of entertainment. So, in addition to her regular education, the young actress studied acting and dance. She made her film debut at the age of 14 in La Maison sur la Mer. She found more success in her subsequent performances, and today she is remembered fondly for her roles in films like Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita, Fellini's Eight and a Half, Jacques Demy's Lola, and Claude Lelouch's A Man and a Woman. This was popularly described as a film that virtually reignited the lush on-screen romance in an era of skeptical modernism. Because of her youthful beauty, Ami was always compared to Jacqueline Kennedy, wife of former US President John F. Kennedy. Whether one likes the film or not, it is still hard for anyone to resist the melancholy aura of Anouk M.A. Film historian Jürgen Müller for her performance in the 1966 A Man and a Woman, Ami won the Golden Globe for Best Actress and the BAFTA Award for the same category also. With a career spanning over seven decades, Anouk Ami has cemented her status as one of France's leading actresses, and her impact in the industry won't be quickly forgotten. The 91-year-old actress has been through four divorces, and she has only one child, Manuela Papadakis, who was born from her second marriage. Number 7. Jean Moreau Described by the iconic filmmaker Orson Welles as the greatest actress in the world, Jean, true to the hype, was going to defy all the odds that existed in theater and on the screens. She never really wanted to be an actress, but all of that changed after her parents' separation. Jean instantly lost interest in schooling, and after attending a performance of Jean Anuel's Antigone, she fell in love with the entertainment industry, and there was nothing she wanted more than to become an actress. Her dream will come true, and Jean had her theater debut in 1947 at the Avignon Festival. Two years later, Moreau was already in minor roles in many films in the industry. However, what had the most impact on her career was her partnership with the New Wave and avant-garde director. Directors loved working with Jean because of her acting skills. She was blessed with such natural beauty and elegance, and she has a way of using this to make her character come alive. The actress achieved international stardom with her roles in films like Elevator to the Gallows, La Notte, and Francois Truffaut's Jules et Jim. Jean Moreau has been through two divorces, and she also has caused quite a few herself. In 1967, director Tony Richardson left his wife Vanessa Redgrave for her. She has also been romantically connected with a few top men in the industry, like Louis Mal, Francois Truffaut, and Theodoros Robanis. Moreau died on the 31st of July 2017 at the age of 87. A few weeks before her death, she complained that she was abandoned because she could not act again. Number 6. Bridget Bardot this list would not be complete without the one and only Brigitte Bardot. Bardot is famous on the French screens for so many reasons, the most popular being her portrayal of sexually emancipating characters. She was also well known as one of the leading activists in the sexual revolution of the 1950s to 1970s. With a very brief career spanning just two decades, Bardot performed in 47 films and several musicals, recording more than 60 songs. Some of her notable roles include Aunt God Created Woman, The Truth, Le Mépris, and Viva Marie. Bridget Bardot has been married four times, and she estimates that she's had a total of 17 romantic relationships. Number 5. Juliette Binoche Juliette realized very early that she sucked at schoolwork, so she would channel all of her youthful energy to the stage. She joined a theater troupe touring France, Belgium, and Switzerland, and that was where the magic happened for her. She was an easy standout because of her looks. Directors always saw potential in her and would choose her among other candidates. The actress found success working with director André Tachin, who would cast her in his 1985 drama Rendezvous. 
For her performance, Juliet won the Caesar Award for Best Actress, and in 1996, she won the Best Supporting Actress for playing a nurse in The English Patient. Binoche has two children from her two past relationships. Her first love was Andre Hale, a professional scuba diver, and her last child's father is actor Benoit Magimel. Binoche's legacy extends beyond accolades as she continues to contribute to cinema with her talent and commitment to meaningful storytelling. Number 4. Michelle Mercier Mercier was born with a silver spoon. Her father was a wealthy pharmacist and her mother was a simple homemaker. Mercier could have done fine refusing to do anything but enjoy her father's wealth. But no, the teenager strongly pursued her desire to become a dancer, even against the will of her parents. While she pushed her dancing career, her parents forced her to study acting under Solange Sicard. Michelle was featured in a string of movies with small budgets, but that was not what she wanted. She had eyes on the big screens and she would achieve this in 1963, when she was cast as Angelique in Angelique the Marquis of Angels. Mercier was regularly featured in some of France's top magazines as one of the most beautiful actresses in the industry. In the late 1990s, she fell prey to a bad investment that made her lose millions of her money. The actress pretty much went into a recluse after this, and very little is known about the 85-year-old actress today. Number 3. Muriel Dark Number 3 on our list of the 21 hottest French actresses of all time is Muriel Dark. Muriel's story is one with a joyous start but with a not-so-good ending. The actress's life was cut short after a tragic car accident which caused serious injuries to her heart. Dark was easily one of the most beautiful French women to ever grace the screens. Fans were captivated by her striking beauty and elegance, all of which made her an iconic figure in the cinema. Also, we loved her strong and independent on-screen persona, and she would often portray modern and assertive women. This also contributed to her popularity. After the accident, Dark had to quit her film career, but she returned to television much later in the 1990s. In 2006, she was awarded the Legion of Honor. Everything was going well until 2013 when she suffered complications from heart surgery. In 2016, she had more hemorrhages, and in August 2017, she gave up the fight. Muriel died in a coma at the age of 79. Number 2. Ava Green the daughter of French actress Marlene Jobert, Ava Green was not just going to inherit her mother's skills behind the camera. The actress came with a double dose of her natural beauty. She is blessed with such unique and unconventional beauty, but this, contrary to what many think, was not her ticket to the industry. Her mother held the doors for her. Ava had her film debut in the 2003 romantic drama film The Dreamers. The film had Green in extensive full frontal nude and rear nude scenes which made her parents very uncomfortable. However, she was able to convince them and as she confessed, director Bernardo Bertolucci's guidance was the only reason she went through with that at such an early stage of her career. Green is fondly remembered for her role as Bond girl Vesper Lind in the James Bond film Casino Royale. For her performance, Ava was honored with the BAFTA Rising Star Award. Ava Green has never been married and she is thought to be currently single. She has an estimated net worth of $10 million. Number 1. Carol Bouquet The ever-beautiful Carol Bouquet is that French actress who has appeared in over 64 films since 1977. She hit international stardom with her role in Too Beautiful to Be You for which she won the Caesar Award for Best Actress. She is also well known for her role as a Bond girl, Milena Havlock, in the 1981 James Bond film For Your Eyes Only. Carol was the face of Chanel No. 5's fragrance from 1986 to 1997. The actress has only been married once, and this was to immunologist Jacques Leibowitz but they divorced in 1996 after four years of marriage. These days, it seems Carol's acting and modeling days are behind her, as she focuses more on her winery business on the island of Pantelliera in the Strait of Sicily. However, her works and contributions to French cinema are still fresh in our minds, and we do hope to see her make a comeback to the screen one day. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos of beautiful actresses from the yesteryears. As always, thank you for watching.